I was living in Barcelona. Um, no, let's start again. Sorry, let's do it again. One more time? Yeah. Okay. All right, so how did you get into the cruise industry? Um, I was living in Barcelona and I applied for a job at Intercruises. I had no idea actually what the company was. And I went for the interview and it went really well. I've been at Intercruises now for eight years. I think it's always changing. Like there's always new technology or there's ways that we're doing pioneering things in sustainability. Um, you're meeting new people, there's new cruise lines, um, new types of tours, new types of shore excursions. So from a marketing perspective, it's really interesting to see the direction the industry is going because there's something new that's being marketed. Looking at new demographics, there's younger cruise guests, it's a growing industry. Um, so it's actually a very exciting time to be involved in the cruise industry. Um, my job specifically, I mean I work for a company that's very successful, is growing, we work with lots of great clients, the different cruise lines, um, and so actually being in a position where I can have an impact on how my company is growing and not only that, but how we're managing to serve our clients to deliver a great guest experience um, is really exciting and really rewarding to have that kind of impact. It's very much, well, actually there's something which I think is often overlooked, which is actually the internal networking factor, because we, we've got operations in over 50 countries around the world. And so Sea Trade, um, whether it's Europe or Med or uh, Global in, in Florida, it brings us all together and a lot of the time we don't see those people. So there's the internal networking factor and then of course the external networking factor. Um, where we get to you know, meet the clients or I get to talk with people from Sea Trade or from Clear um, and look at how we can work together in different ways. I would say I'd always go back to uh, my interview, my first interview with Intercruises. Um, at the time, the then marketing communications manager interviewed me and we were actually doing the interview in Spanish. And she said, I want to bring in my boss. So then um, our now managing director, Olga Piqueras, came in. And so then I was doing the interview with two people in Spanish. And then she said, oh, I'm going to bring the managing director, who is Mark Robinson. And then he came in. So then I had the marketing communications manager, the operations director, and the managing director all interviewing me at the same time in a mixture of English and Spanish. And then he brought in the finance director as well. And I had different questions, some of them about my work history, other ones was about where's the best place in Barcelona to get fish and chips, where's the cheapest pint. And so um, it was quite an intense interview, having uh, kind of the board of directors interviewing me on my first interview for Intercruises. I would say stay up to date with the cruise industry. I mean, here's a massive plug for Sea Trade, but I'm always reading the, 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 the news um, just to stay up to date with what's going on. Because, I mean, in the eight years I've been there, there's been a massive shift on where the focus is, on, on how the guest experience is delivered, on sustainability, on health and safety, on, on lots of different things within the cruise industry. So staying up to date, I'd say, is very, very important.